Just about a month into the 2022 season, Major League Baseball handed out a historic suspension to then-Dodgers right-hander Trevor Bauer. The suspension was for 324 games, the equivalent to two seasons, and was the biggest punishment handed down by the MLB under the sport's domestic violence policy. Bauer wasn't far removed from his 2020 Cy Young season and was on the second year of a three-year $102 million contract. During the 2022 offseason after missing the entire year, Bauer's initial 324-game suspension was reduced to 194 games by an independent arbitrator who also reinstated him. The Dodgers had a 14-day window to decide to either release Bauer or add him to their 40-man roster. On January 12, 2023, the Dodgers officially announced the team was parting ways with Bauer, leaving any team in Major League Baseball to sign him for the league minimum salary. The suspension cost Bauer over $37.5 million, however, the Dodgers were still on the hook for $22.5 million. As we approached opening day, no team looked to take a chance on Bauer. And on March 13th, in a shock to many, news broke that he was heading to Japan and signed a one-year deal to play for the DNA Base Stars of the Nippon Baseball League. Bauer's one-year $4 million deal marked the beginning of a new chapter after almost two years away from the mound. His goal with the Base Stars was to strike out 200 batters and maintain a 96-mile-an-hour average fastball velocity, which is also the reason he chose to wear number 96. In mid-April, Bauer made his long-awaited debut for the team's minor league club, the Yokohama Base Stars, and fans showed their excitement setting record-breaking numbers. While the team typically averaged a few hundred spectators per game, this particular match drew over 2,600 fans. Additionally, the team's YouTube live stream reached an impressive 77,000 viewers at one point, a remarkable 15 times the usual 5,000 live stream viewers. Bauer was solid going four innings, allowing four hits and striking out six. He went on to say he felt good and ready to compete but needed to build up his pitch count. In his second minor league outing, Bauer pitched into the sixth inning, allowing one earned run on two hits and threw 77 pitches. After building up his pitch count in what was essentially Bauer's spring training, he would finally make his highly anticipated first outing with the big club on May 3rd versus Hiroshima. He went on to scatter seven hits in seven innings, allowed one run, struck out nine, and threw 98 pitches in a 4-1 to victory in front of 33,000 plus fans. The team also went on to say that was a record attendance. His only blemish came on a solo home run from fellow American Matt Davidson, who actually played with Bauer back in 2020. Bauer's season took a crucial turn in his next two starts. In his second outing against the Yamayuri Giants, he allowed six runs on 11 hits in six innings. The situation got worse in his following start against the same team he had initially dominated in his MPB debut. In his third outing versus the Hiroshima Carp, Bauer was shelled and didn't make it past the second inning, allowing seven runs on eight hits. This outing pushed his total to 14 earned runs in his last 15 innings. Rumors circulated that Bauer had been demoted to the second team after two subpar outings, sparking a frenzy on social media. Reports suggested he was making an adjustment start and of course the media took the story and ran with it. However, Bauer later clarified things on his YouTube channel. He went on to say that following a rainout that disrupted the rotation, Bauer requested to be sent down to make a start and stay sharp. Without this adjustment, his next start would have been in 11 days. Out the gate in his adjustment start, Bauer was ambushed by the first batter and gave up a home run. However, he'd settle in going six innings, scattering eight hits and struck out ten. Bauer made his comeback with the first team on May 27th to make his regularly scheduled start versus the Chunichi Dragons, aiming to prove himself as he came into this game with an ERA nearing 9. The game turned out to be a positive start for Bauer as he looked sharp, striking out 7 and 6 innings, allowing 2 runs. This marked the start of a dominant month of June for Bauer, where he posted a perfect 4-0 record with a 2.08 ERA. The dominance started on June 3rd versus the Cebu Lions, where Bauer went 8 innings, which up to this point was his longest outing of the season, striking out 10, which was also his first double-digit strikeout performance of the year. He continued going 7, striking out 9 versus the Oryx Buffaloes, then tossed his first complete game of the season versus the Ham Fighters, striking out 12, allowing only one run. His outstanding month earned him the league's MVP for June, and he also took home an all-star nod after he earned the honor of being a part of the league's plus one fan vote, which he beat out favorite Munataka Murakami, and it wasn't close. Bauer continued his solid performance in July, going 7 plus innings in 4 of his 5 starts, including his second complete game versus the Swallows on July 6. Heading into August after two abysmal starts to begin the season, Bauer was 6-1 in 10 starts with a 2.24 ERA and was dominating going 7 or more innings in 7 of 10 starts with two complete games. However, August is where things got a little bit crazy. On August 3rd against the Hiroshima Cart, the same team that gave Bauer a hard time earlier in the season, he did something we rarely see, something that might be the first in recent memory. He went 10 innings allowing 4 hits, striking out 5, allowing no runs, and get this, the game ended in a 0-0 tie. 
Slowly but surely, Bauer was now turning into a superhero in Japan, and his fandom grew in a way no one could ever expect. He just kept rolling in August as he continued to be a workhorse, going 7 strong versus the Dragon, striking out 10, then followed that up with 7 innings versus the Swallow, striking out 5, earning another W. The next two starts, Bauer looked unstoppable, going 8 innings in both starts, but this is where the bad news hit. In his final start of the month versus the Hanshin Tigers, Bauer attempted to field a swinging bunt, and as he slid to field the ball, he hurt his hip flexor. He took to YouTube and informed his fans his season was done. This was a big blow for the Bay Stars as they appeared to be in good shape heading into the playoffs, with Shota Imanaga and Trevor Bauer potentially being a scary two-headed monster. Bauer started his rehab and was sidelined for the entire month of September. Despite the setback, his rehab process was promising, and he looked forward to making a comeback just in time for the playoffs. However, that never happened as the Bay Stars were bounced early in the first stage of the Climax Series versus the Hiroshima Cards. Trevor Bauer ended the season strong and it's too bad we weren't able to see what he could do in the stretch run as he finished the season going 10-4 and with a 2.76 ERA in 19 starts and struck out 130 in 130 innings pitch. All in all, after nearly two seasons away from the game, Bauer showed he still has what it takes to compete at a high level and the velocity still remains. Rumors are swirling he's looking to make a comeback to the major leagues and he's even hinted on social media his desire to return to Cincinnati, the team he won a Cy Young Award with in 2020. Thank you.